Hello and welcome. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers introduced their new offensive coordinator, Liam Cohen, today. He had his press conference for the first time in front of the Tampa Bay media. And a couple bulletin board points. Bullet points? I don't know. Notes um, from the press conference that were exciting to hear. Number one, he had a ton of high praise for Quarterback Baker Mayfield, which really further leads you to the belief that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will be bringing Baker back for another season. It was already something that really the writing was on the wall. If you saw how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had been navigating through this entire process, hiring candidates who had had, had had a history with Baker Mayfield in the past or potentially would have some similarities in their scheme and their play calling to what the Buccaneers were doing last year with Dave Canales and the fact that Baker Mayfield had been at least somewhat consulted on the decision of offensive coordinator. Yeah, the Buccaneers believe and are operating under the impression that Baker Mayfield's coming back for another season and when Baker Mayfield was interviewed at the Pro Bowl or anytime he's been anytime he's really been asked any sort of question about returning he's leaned towards the you know towards the side of returning as well which makes you feel pretty confident that both sides think that that is pretty much all but taken care of Liam Cohen praised Baker Mayfield's uh, he, he praised his communication skills, which I thought was great. Talked about how he's a really great practice player and keeps everything, um, keeps keeps practice fun and competitive. Talked about how he used to trash talk Jalen Rams. He gave him a lot of credit. Um, obviously, they interacted together when the Rams brought in Baker Mayfield last season. And the Rams were having a tough season, right? Record-wise, it was not great. Baker came in at the end of the season on a losing team. And he talked about how Liam Cohen did he talked about how Baker Mayfield made football fun for the Rams when they were losing and they were not having fun, right? And referenced Baker Mayfield as an igniter. That was his quote, which is very cool. Um, a lot of high praise for sure uh, coming from Cohen referencing Baker Mayfield. One of the other things that I thought was really great that Liam Cohen did say in his press conference, which was exciting to hear because a lot of times last year, a knock that I had on the Buccaneers offense, and really not just last year, but just in general, is too often you see Mike Evans or Chris Godwin go a long time without opportunities to touch the ball and opportunities to make plays. And I just think Mike Evans and Chris Godwin are high-tier football players, right? They're fantastic at what they do, and they can only do what they do if they're given opportunities to do so, right? Makes sense. One of the things Liam Cohen said, and it couldn't be, it was music to my ears. I had to check if somebody had the aux and they were, you know, Bluetooth speaker was going off. I couldn't tell. He talked about how it was about, sometimes in big spots, it's about players, not plays. And I think that that is a great way to coordinate an offense, or I shouldn't say coordinate an offense, but just scheme into a game or interact with your players because in reality football is complicated but it's also very simple and sometimes people make it a lot more complicated than it really is it is a lot of times about players not plays because ultimately I need my guy to beat your guy now I can help my guy out because I could scheme him open I could dial something up that's great but ultimately my guy's got to make the catch my guy's got to make the run my guy's got to make the block right so when he mentioned players not plays, that made me think about all of the games. And Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans, you know. All of the games where Mike Evans didn't see a target in the first half or had one catch in the first half. Chris Godwin didn't get a target until the fourth quarter. Right? That is something that I don't see if you're operating from the mentality of players not plays. I don't see that happening next year, which is exciting because it shouldn't, right? Mike Evans deserves the opportunity to make a ton of plays. He's made a ton of plays and warrants the opportunity to make more. Chris Godwin is a bona fide stud as a number two receiver for this team and deserves the opportunity to be his best possible self in that role. So I, that's an exciting quote to hear because you really want to hear an offensive coordinator be amenable to change within his system yes it's your system but who is on the team and and sometimes the system is great on paper but we've got to put it into this three-dimensional mold of a football team on a football field with real players running around and executing how can we do that best and 
I think that was important to hear. I think that was nice to hear. He also uh, referenced using the screen game more, which is fantastic because Rashad White out of the backfield proved last year how much of a dual threat he could be, how dangerous he is in space. Screen game, getting worked into the offense, easy completions for Baker Mayfield, easy yards for Rashad White. That's fantastic to hear. Talked about moving Chris Godwin back in the slot again. Yeah, please. Yes, and thank you. Chris Godwin in the slot with his, you know, with his time with Tom Brady, spent a lot of time in the slot and made countless plays. Last year, not so much. And you saw Chris Godwin, although he did still have a thousand yards and statistically still had a productive season. If you're watching every game, Chris Godwin was significantly less involved, or at least felt significantly less involved than he had been in years past. So yeah, I, I think so far, the move seems like a great move. Congratulations to Todd Bowles. He may have nailed the OC hiring process two years in a row. So congratulations to Todd Bowles. Welcome, Liam Cohen. Hopefully, the Buccaneers and Liam Cohen can have a great working relationship moving forward. Let me know your thoughts. I'm curious. If you watched the press conference, what did you think? If you didn't watch the press conference, just in general, what are your thoughts on the hire? Good? Bad? Indifferent? Indifferent? 